Hey guys, Kenny with Ugly Tent. Today I wanted to share with you on how to fold a poncho, and this specifically a military poncho. So the military poncho has become one of my favorite pieces of kit. It's got so many uses, you know, it's got multiple uses, and that's one of the things I look for in gear. You can do so many different things with it, and specifically building shelters. I love to build shelters with my poncho. I often get asked, how do you fold the poncho back? Is there a right way to do it or wrong way to do it? There's really not. You know, there's not a wrong way to fold a poncho. Whatever works best for you. So I'm going to give you a couple different options on how to fold this poncho and put it away securely. So stick with me. So I have brought my bushcraft belt to use, but I also brought my knee pads because I'm an old man. I need these on my knees. And my military poncho. As you can see, I haven't folded it back since the last time I used it. I used it for a demonstration at a youth camp. Um, it, I love setting this thing up for plow point configurations. It always wows people. They're like, wow, I didn't know you could do the poncho. So if you haven't seen my poncho shelter video, it's an older one, but go back and check it out. So let's get started. So I don't have a, <clears throat> I have the equipment, like a big foxy boom camera set up to give you an overhead shot. So I'm going to do the best I can with this little incline right here. Alright, so the first one I'm going to show you is how to put it on your your belt or your LBE. Um, in the military, this is how we were taught to attach it to our load-bearing equipment or our suspenders. So all you're going to do is just fold it over. Now remember, this is just a poncho, so you don't have to get it precise. I mean, you just get as close as you as you can, because you're going to be using it again probably if you're in the field. So I folded it over on itself twice and now a third time. So once you get here, you're going to fold it in half again, in half again, and one more time. That's an easy way to fold it. Now let's put it on our belt. Okay, so now that we have it folded, I'm gonna take that and put it over the belt. That simple, just like that. Again, you're probably gonna be using this, so it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a hank of paracord that I keep in my pocket. It's about six foot long. Has a bowline in the a bowline or a bowline in the uh, end of it. So I'm gonna take this cord, this cordage. I'm gonna dress it up a little bit, make it look pretty, and I'm gonna put this on the back side of it. Try to even it out. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're probably gonna need this for your shelter or for the rain. And I'm going to put three wraps in it. All right, so now you're starting to see it take shape. So from behind, I'm going to pull these up. Let me show you what I'm doing here. See how that's going? Tighten that down and come over the, the back with it. So I tied those off. Now I'm going to come around the back again just to hide my laces and I'm going to run through that bowline and then we'll tie it off. So there's your poncho and a belt. Pretty simple, nice and secure. It's not going anywhere, it's not going to fall off because the way we've got it secured. Got my core essential belt, which I've made my bushcraft belt. And there you go. 
just like that. We've attached it to our LBE or our bushcraft belt. Very secure. Forgot to put my knee pads on for that last segment. Makes it a lot easier on me. Okay, next we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna use the cuff of the poncho to uh, store it, making like a stuff sack out of, the, out of the cuff of the poncho. Same situation, fold it in half, lay it down, fold your hood inside, so we fold it in half again. Now, we're going to fold it back. This corner here, or this uh, end here, we're going to fold back on itself. Just like that. This is going to be the cuff, right? Grab your ends. I always grab the loose ends. Flip it over, okay? So this is all flat here, and the cuff is on the back side of this. That little cuff you created is on the back side. Fold it again. I'm gonna fold a quarter of it inside, another quarter on the other side, inside, containing your cuff. So now we've got our cuff down here. I'm gonna start rolling it towards the cuff. Roll it tight, keep it dressed up. Now when you get to the cuff, you're gonna flip it over. See that cuff there? Now push everything inside of the cuff. And there you go. So to wrap some paracord around that, strap, whatever, you got a nice tight roll. Okay, so showing you, after showing you all that, I'd say by now you're catching on to the easiest way to fold a poncho. Find your shoulders, your hood. Again, military ponchos are easy. Fold it in half. Hood inside. Fold it in half again. With the hood on the inside. Fold it in half again without the cuff, then nothing to it. Quick and easy poncho roll. Put you a paracord or straps around it if you want to tuck this in on the inside to make it look better. Now you've got nice set up there. Let me get my straps. So I've got my straps that I've acquired over the years to go around it. I've made these. I think this one actually I found somewhere with something else and made copies of it. There you go. Doesn't get any easier than that. These have got little cinch buckles on them, so you can dial it in even tighter if you need to. But that, my friends, is an excellent way after camping or hiking or whatever, after protecting yourself with the poncho, that you can quickly stash it and go. Okay, lastly, let's do it with the hood as it's stuff sack. It's a little trick here. So you're not gonna fold it in half. You're gonna again though, find these shoulders. You're gonna find, and the shoulders are usually easy to identify because of that grommet on a military poncho. So, we're gonna lay it flat with the hood up. So now we've got it flat with the hood up. Fold it, quarter it again, or 
Yeah, that'll do about a third, I guess. Same here. Again, just dress it up as you go. All right, now we can start rolling it up. Make sure you can still see it. Yeah. I'm gonna roll it up. Try to get debris with it. Yeah, you can see where this is going. There you go. Roll it up on itself with the hood. And you can see it's got a nice hold on it. Again, we can take paracord or our straps, secure this up, but that is contained inside its hood. So like I said, I love the military poncho for its versatility. There are so many different things you can do with this. As far as shelter, um, you can make a raft out of it. You can carry stuff with it. You can make a stretcher. I mean, it's just, it, there's so many things you can do with a military poncho. If you don't have one, try to pick one up at your Army Navy store or your local military surplus. They're lightweight, they're durable. They're the, one of the best things on the market. So I've had this one since the 90s. And I've taken uh, well care. I've taken good care of it. I've seam sealed it. I spray it with camp dry every once in a while to keep it waterproof. But it's hard to beat a good military poncho. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you on the next one. Bam! Just like that.